morning. Oh, uh, it's it's way early. Not that early. That's early enough. Um, it is about 6.30. We're heading south on PCH, uh, and we're headed over, uh, well, we're going to Starbucks first, <clears throat> just so you know. Uh, we're going to Sean and Isla's because they are catching a flight to San Francisco, and we're taking them to the airport. I wish we were going. We, we are going to be going oh, just in are. a couple of days. This car? No. Uh, we're not taking this car. Uh, Toyota is sending us their CHR to drive up to San Francisco. So that's what we're going to be taking. And we'll get a chance to do a kind of a comprehensive oh, review. Oh, we did it today, right. Uh, the car's coming in today. And the sun's just about to come up. Oh, check out the sun. Selfie Master's getting her sun selfie. I'm not doing a selfie. It's a sun selfie. It's like a Japanese sun. Why do you think it's Japan? Just because it's rising in Los Angeles. Well, we do know it's the same sun that is in Japan. So that's... And we don't have Mount Fuji. Do we? We have Mount Fuji Fujilicious. We're closing in on Christmas, and I have a question for you guys. And the question is, what do you want for Christmas? So leave a comment down in the uh, comment section, and uh, and then we'll post those answers tomorrow. But right now we got to go get coffee. Let's go. Good. How are you? Sean. Good. You crazy. Dogs. Oh, so. Kathy, you want to take the dogs up front? Do I want to? Or Sean's got them. Oh, <laughs> stay they still, them. Mike, stay still. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're heading up to San Francisco two days earlier than we are because they're having a baby shower. He says about six months pregnant, but she has to have it early because all the Clarks are going to be in one spot, plus us. We're having a baby shower. Little girl Abigail is due April 4th. Parappa, the new face. Here he is. You you kind of look alike. Do we? <laughs> there is a, a restaurant in Malibu that has been closed for 30 years. It's like a creepy abandoned restaurant. Restaurant. Creepy abandoned restaurant. Right exactly. Uh, Kathy's going to sneak in there. I'm going to check it out. Find. And I'm going to sit out here because she may need a getaway car He's or getaway. I may just leave just the same because she might get taken away by the cops. You probably will leave me. But it's really cool. Check it out. Bye. restaurant about 
25 years ago. Nobody here? Hello? Hello? Look at that. This restaurant used to be called Granita uh, when it opened about 30 years ago. And I said we went on a date here. We did? Oh yeah, it's like years way ago. back in the day, right? So now uh, they're redoing the place and the door was open and there's nobody here. So and how creepy we're, is we're gonna this? shoot it because we're gonna come back when it's all new. Oh yeah. But look yeah, at this. I, I went down there, but I didn't go down. Creepy abandoned restaurant. This was uh, Wolfgang Puck's um, wood-fired pizza oven. It's probably full of spiders now. And then this whole area back here. There is nothing going on back here. Wow. They put, put so much work into this place. And just let it go. Yep. Cool skylight. Let's go see what's up over here. I think we sat over here. Yeah, we sat. You know, right about about there. Yeah. I think I remember that now. I remember the food was so weird. We didn't, we couldn't order anything. It was, it was just weird. It was owned by Wolfgang Puck. I know, but it was too complicated. Oh, what's over there? What's in here? Nothing. A cool door. I thought maybe there was some stairs going up. Nope. Second story. I don't think so. There's the old wine racks. Mm hmm What is this? Oh, stir sticks. Stir sticks. Okay. Lots of stir sticks. We got a souvenir. Thief. I didn't take it. I didn't even want it. Would you hold this? No. Come on, hold it. No. Gross. I wonder why the door's open. That's really weird. Oh, look at it. It's a metal tree. I know this looks really good to the dogs, but I can't have it. What are you eating? I made another one of your turtles. And where did they come from? Your friend. But I don't know who. Mark Sternberger. No! And where did they come from? They came from Bark Sternberger. Thank you so much, Mark. Say it one more time. You said bark. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. How'd you know I like turtles? Maybe it wasn't for me, but I stole them. Great. <laughs> I just wrapped all the baby presents mm -hmm. that we're going to bring to San Francisco. So we're going to San Francisco and we're going to a baby shower because actually I don't think we told these guys what the name of the baby is. Mm -mm. What's the name of the baby? I got, I got caramel in my teeth. So what? My sister sent me a Christmas gift and she says, open now. I think it says now. <laughs> is that what that is for? I think Bug likes it. Don't you, Bug? You know what? My sister volunteered at a hospital, or no, a senior citizen's home for the holidays, and these women make these things. Ah. So I think the baby gift is also made from this. So this is beautiful. This says, this is made with love from Joan Neary. Hmm. That's who knitted this. Wow. There's something else. <laughs> oh, oh. I bet Joan made this one too. Oh, you gotta put that one on. I'm going to. Look at that. <laughs> hmm. 
You'll have to go ice skating in that outfit. I know. Or you could you can stash things in here too. Yeah, things you steal. called Beyond Beef and they're they're absolutely amazing now there's so many things that you can have that are so healthy why not give it a try places and kind of check things out but this place Granita has been abandoned for for 25 30 years a really really long time and it seems like someone has bought it out and they're gonna be doing something with it I hope it's gonna be good it'd be really cool if it was a vegan joint but a few notes about the Toyota the CHR 29 miles per gallon $23,000 2 liter 4 cylinder dual overhead cam 16 valve pumping out a whopping 144 horsepower it's a small car it's, it's a tiny car it's the perfect car to drive a distance because the gas mileage is good. Got a Christmas card from my friend Andy. Andy and Jennifer, they, they always go to really cool places. Every time I talk to them, they're like in New Zealand or somewhere else. This is them. See that little train car thing? I'm gonna be riding along with Andy on that in the uh, early part of January. Hopefully, that looks pretty cool. Thank you, Andy and Jen. And the last little note, uh, those of you that uh, that have uh, continued to watch the vlog, you saw that we went up to the the uh, um, Channel Islands Maritime Museum, and we put that book together, doing a custom book. I've done a couple of sketches. You want to see one of them? Not sure if you can see this. It's kind of a blue line, but there's a ship 
out at sea. There's the ocean, rocks, and all kinds of stuff, and lightning and big waves and all that kind of stuff. It's gotta be cool for kids to color, and big kids, like me. As I mentioned in the beginning of the vlog, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what it is that you want for Christmas. Uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily gonna, gonna get you those things, but I'm just kinda curious. I'm kinda curious what people want. You know, it can be everything from a new Corvette to a world peace. Or it could be, you know, world peace and a new Corvette. But if I know what you want, then, then I can kind of think about it. I can send you good vibrations. Right. Two days away from one to San Francisco. Uh, just to give you guys a heads up, I won't be vlogging from San Francisco the day of. I'm going to be shooting all those vlogs over a four-day period. Then I'll be uh, revealing those vlogs after we get back. But while I'm gone, I'll still be posting cool stuff, cars, all kinds of neat stuff. If you're in San Francisco and you're watching the vlog, give me a heads up. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later.